YouTube, look what's understood, don't need to be explained. <laughs> look, let me tell y'all something. Hey, I'm in charge with the hairline because we, look, we, let me, bro, y'all gonna, let me tell y'all something. See, if you a chair, if you a real child of God, let me tell you something. People be trying to, y'all just don't understand what we got to deal with on a daily basis. Like, y'all really, people that don't understand just, just our reality and what we experience on a daily basis from weirdos due to the simple fact that we we possess holiness, but see, we live in truth. Look, we live in truth. Let me let me hit you with the headline. You, people, look, people don't be having nothing on us. Like people, let me hit y'all with the headline. We we live in truth. We don't we don't live a lie. So most people in society they live in a lie. So look, you gotta ask yourself one question: What's gonna happen once you really get around an individual that lives in truth, a man or a woman that does not live a lie, a man or woman that holds himself accountable, a man or a woman that that put God first and that's not really out here living a sinful lifestyle. That's not up out here. That's not up out here partaking in wickedness in in following this period point blank see let me hit you with the headline a lot of people y'all really look when we them action takers first of all first of all we them action takers let me hit you with the headline and if you in this for individuals who claim they real children god let me tell you something i know you're not a real child because guess what we real children we don't do no speaking guess what you gonna it's action coming from us because guess what god raised us in a way that we should go and guess what once we got older and no matter what we at in life we still gonna use those teachings that god instilled into us because we won't depart from it. Then that's simple. Not your parents. This what God. This how God raised me. This what God instilled within me. And every let me tell you something. When you allow God, when you allow God to mold you into a man or a woman, you're gonna indeed walk and you gonna indeed walk in light. You're gonna walk, you're gonna be walking in action. But see, on are you gonna be walking in light? And but see, at the end of the day. Let me hit y'all with that. Now all them people can't stand that, man. These people cannot stand. Damn, they don't like that, man. They don't like that. We don't even be doing nothing. Let me hit y'all with the headline. It's really hot. Let me tell you something. We we gonna you gonna get judged based off your inner strength. Yes, you are. Let me hit you. Let me. And this is this is today's video. You're gonna be judged based off your inner strength because it's not what's on the outside surface that ticks people off. That's ticking them off. It, it's was it's what we possess on the inside. Remember something. It ain't never was on the outside. It's always was on the inside. This ain't never been. This ain't about no money. This ain't about no materialism. This ain't about no. Uh, that, okay. People, look, that, those money, materialism, and lust is the, is the things that people are going to use in order to make up for the lack of discrepancy that they don't possess no holiness. You don't possess no discernment. You don't possess, you look, you don't have no connection with God. So guess what? You need, so when, look, if you ain't got no connection with God, but you see individuals that have a connection with God because demons know who got connections with God. Everybody, come on, man. It's energy. You're going to be able to tell this is an individual God. You're going to be able to feel the presence of God once once you, once um we enter the room, period point blank it's, it's our presence but see god walking with us god with us everywhere we go so of course we're going to stand out because the creator walk with us we in look look you just look imagine you enter in a room and then on imagine in a room with a bunch of demons and and, and but it is you but see them demons on the intuitively and in on intuitively and on the spiritual no no for a fact a child of god is in the room why you know that because god with them i feel the presence of god we just can't connect to him but see i can feel his presence let me hear you. Let me and see. Look, Jim, look, see, we in pass also. We in pass also. We in pass also. So we everywhere we go, we gonna have that natural ability to heal, that natural ability to see the um to see end of see the good in individuals, that natural ability to um love ind individuals and accept them for who they is. But see this thing about it, um. Uh, See, when you're an empath, you got to learn how to guard your heart because guess what? These boy, these demons up out here, they'll take advantage of you. See, just think about being an empath. Once they know that you're an empath, guess what? They guess what guess what's gonna happen? They're they, they gonna suck you dry of your energy. Period point blank. Once the, once you start giving um individuals, um certain individuals, I'ma call them demons, you can call them low vibrational beings, you can call them whatever you want. Once you start giving these people some, once you start displaying positive energy, your positive energy. Once you start displaying your generosity, your humility, your humbleness, your gratitude towards them, your grace, let me hit you with the hell up. They ain't finna do nothing but use that against you in order to take you down every single time. That's why I say if you an empath, yeah, yeah they are, because guess what? The narcissistic parents do it all the time. Uh-huh.
It's called gaslighting. It's called, it's called projection. But at the end of the day, one word, witchcraft. That's all. That's all. Well, look, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but see, that's all. Mm-hmm. Like, look, like I say, bro, you, we, look, people don't understand what real anointed individuals got to deal with on a daily basis. We got to fight just for our existence. That's what I be telling y'all. Like, we judged on a daily basis based on, we judged due to the simple fact that everybody, look, when you, look, it, it's not, let me hit you with the headline. When you a real child of God, God going to place you. He going to place, he going to place his, he going to place his children in, in settings where he know for a fact it's a bunch of demons. And I'm going to tell you why he going to put you before your enemy. One, it, for you to get stronger. Two, he going to use us. He going to use us as bait for his destruction. Mm -hmm. See, that's what people don't be knowing. Like a lot of people, y'all be thinking, uh, uh let me tell you something. Y'all got to sit back and let God um, do what he got to do. Like y'all, it's the call of saying, let go and let God. And, 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 and this is the thing about it. If you peace, be still. Like once you, and, and see, once you do that, you're going to understand, okay, I, you going to, you, once you allow God, once you, when, when God really first with you and you allow God to lead and when you allow God to, when you just say, okay, you know what, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this in God's hands. I'm going to put this in God's hands and I'm going to just walk by faith, not by sight. I'm going to tell you, let me, let me hit you with the headline. You going to, you, you going to, you finna receive some miracles. You going to receive them blessings, man. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. And ain't nobody going to mess with you neither because guess what? You actually allowing God to leave. We human. We emotional. We end up, man, I'm going to try to do. We end up taking matters in our own hands and, uh, sometimes because we feel as though that's what we got to do because we in survival mode. But see, this thing about it, so I ain't going to lie. Sometimes we be forgetting um, that God be up, God up there. He still pick us back up, though. He still be picking us back up. Because at the end of the day, I, when you know who God is, you're going to understand that God is a loving God and he'll understand that God. So he know what we deal with on a daily basis, period, point blank. Like, and let me hear, yeah, you going to get the, and, hey, look, we going to, you, we, look, he going to give us the blueprint on how to deal with it, on how to see it, how to deal with it, how to overcome it. I'm trying to tell you, that's why I'm a Yes, I'm a beast. They be like, who? I'm like, who? People be asking me all the time. They be like, Robert, um, I, your parents must raise you. I'm like, God raised me. Then the look on their face, they can't believe it. I'm like, I know you can't believe it because you probably a demon. And you you don't even worship. You see, let me tell y'all something. When you just randomly, let me tell y'all something. When you randomly just speak on God in front of random people, it be scaring them. Because, see, this thing about it, they don't be expecting. See, look, they be, they're going to be expecting individuals. They're going to be expecting us to have on the suit, right? They're going to be expecting us to go to church. But, see, this thing about it, we not, we, God's children, we all over the place, baby. Yeah, we all over the place. Look. I, look, you know how many people every time when they be asking me, because I ain't finna allow no, no, I'm not finna allow no demons to take credit for what God has did for me. So, uh, my parents was narcissistic. So when, so when, when I talk to a lot of, um, older people, when I talk to a lot of older adults, they tell me like, man, you so wise beyond your years. And man, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad it's somebody like you. And they be like, your parents raised you, right? And that's when I stopped them. But like, I, don't, I don't even say no. I just be like, God did. Man, and then I'm a straight gangster. I tell them the truth. I ain't finna lie to nobody. I tell them the truth. I'm like, God did. I'm like, no, God did. I didn't come from, I didn't have no parents that was mentally, psychologically, and spiritually advanced to where they can teach me these things. I'm not finna allow no witch to take credit for what God is doing. You didn't do that, so you're not finna get credit for that, period, point blank. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing narcissistic parents did was uh, was make us stronger and make us better. That's the only thing. You're going to get killed with success. Like, you ain't getting credit for what God is doing, that period, point blank. You, you're not getting no credit. Yeah, and that's what a lot of people be trying to do. That's what a lot of people be trying to do. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Look, mainly it's when when they can't benefit. I also experience on a daily basis. You know how many people be uh, mad? People be upset because they cannot benefit off me. Like, see, this the thing about it. Look, it's not even, it, it don't, look, this don't even have nothing to do with in terms of money or materialism. See, when people don't have no inner tranquility, when you don't have, look, when you can't look in the mirror and self-reflect, like, when you don't have a sense of self, when you don't possess oneness, you're nothing. Yeah, you a walking zombie. You don't have no inner peace. You don't love yourself. I know you don't because it requires self-reflection. Mm -hmm. You let me hit you with the headline. You can't even come around here displaying false 
self-love, false confidence. You can't come around assertiveness and display false confidence because we're going to know you're faking. And, that's, and guess what? False confidence to assertiveness, that man, that's a smack in the face to us because we putting in all this inner work. We putting in all this self-love, self-preservation. We praying. We doing the spiritual work. And then they, God looking at us. Look, they look at us and trying to study us and then trying to wonder what is it that makes him, uh, what is um him, that what is it, what is it about him that makes him him? I want what he got, but see, I'm not trying to do the work. I'm not, I'm, once you, I'm not trying to do the work, then guess what? You're not finna, you're not gonna ever, gonna life that's first of all trying to plagiarize somebody's lifestyle that that's not gonna that's not gonna happen that's not gonna happen the universe not even gonna align you and your thought you, you're not even gonna have the same thought pattern patterns as the individuals you're trying to plagiarize off of it's gonna kill you even more trying to steal somebody's personality and steal somebody's traits because guess what you gotta look in the mirror and self-reflect you gotta think i'm trying to steal someone's qualities and characteristics that's not even mine so that's going to tell me right being in there that I'm not, you right. See, but see, you, yeah, some of you got to understand. Some people got to look in the mirror and be like, I'm not, mm-hmm. See, me, I look in the mirror and be like, I'm the, because I know who I am. Then other people, y'all got to look in the mirror because y'all, but these people with no souls, y'all got to look in the mirror, man. Because when you, when if I feel as though if you ain't got no soul, if you look in the mirror, guess what? You not going to see yourself because guess what? You, you, you. You know, you know, it's nothing there to look at. It's nothing on the inside for you to even be looking at inside that mirror. Like, you can't even see the reflection of yourself because guess what? When you look in your eyes, it's nothing there. It's blank. It's hollow. You have no soul. So I can see why demons don't sell. I can see why they run away from self-reflection because y'all already know y'all don't. But see, y'all can also see why people see this thing about it. Look, when you look, I, let me hit you with the headline. You can be fat. You can be skinny. I'm telling you, you can be broke. It, this ain't got nothing to do with money. Look, if God didn't bless you and ordained you and put his hand on you and he ain't never took it off, you finna have a most. Let me tell you something. You finna be hated on so goddamn bad. And you're going to be judged. But um, it, you're going to be judged for that inner strength, too. You're going to be judged because a lot of people, let me tell you something. A lot of people, they weak minded minded like they weak minded they have a weak mentality they weak spiritually and emotionally we not like we not this conversation i'm having you can't even have this conversation with a lot of people because they're gonna avoid it because guess what it's either gonna require them to actually serve god and it's also gonna require them to self-reflect they're not gonna be ready to do that man so like when people have these conversations, people everybody be like, man, I want to have a real conversation. No, you don't, because every time we have a real conversation, guess what? You start be, people be like this, and they and you gonna walk off. Like we, like, I'm trying to walk off when we speaking some real gang shit, but you up over here. You said you see this not thing. I hate when people be like. I want somebody real. I want to be around some real people. Oh my God, you said, but see, you can't hide. You, you look, man. That's counterproductive. Like you gotta, you can't. You. It's a lot of that too, cause there's so many people that be trying to come up over here. Like, let me tell y'all some brothers and sisters on some real G shit. People be trying to come up over here. You hear me? And th look, they be trying to come up over here. You hear me? And. And, and cause they think a nigga dumb, man. Like people be thinking dumb. Like y'all be thinking folks dumb, man. No, let me hit you with the headline. When you got God first, people gonna underestimate you because in their mind, you gotta think flesh. Um, it's about control with flesh. See, a lot of people, they not gonna like you putting God first. When I say it's really God first for me, it's really God first for me. I don't compromise for nobody, period, point blank. It's really God first for me. Say, when I say I'm really not up out here committing sin, when I say I ain't up out here doing nothing, I ain't got no business doing, look, I'm, um, I'm, look, I'm as, bro, I'm as pure. I'm as pure as that water of um the karate kid where he was drinking off of. That was the most purest and the most clearest water I ever seen, man. When I say I'm so pure, when I say if you pray to God right now, be like, um, God, is Robert doing something? God gonna be like, nah, he ain't doing nothing. He the only thing he's doing is what I sent him here to do. And Robert actually listening because my son lives in truth. But see, my but see, no one likes that. My, no one likes that my son lives in truth because guess what? If, what do you mean by living in truth? My son puts me first before others. See, we live in we live in the United States. These people worse. These people operate based off do it that will mean that's self worship. Like a lot of people, they want you to put your, put them first before you put God. But see, that's not happening. 
That's not happening. Look, when you want, but see, but look, when you put God first, nobody outside of you can manipulate you because God gonna give you his eyes and his ears. Like he gonna literally give you the blueprint on how to defeat demons and how to maneuver around them. They won't even be able to touch you. And look, when they can't touch you, let me tell you something. When people can't touch you because God won't allow them, guess what they gonna do? They ain't got no choice but to talk. They ain't got no choice but choice but to talk. They ain't got no choice but to judge. But see, the thing about it is, let me tell you something. Uh, the people that don't like us, the people that don't like us, these people that act weird around us in public, these people that be staring at us because they do, these people that be um acting like looking at us like we did something to them and we have we don't even know you. Let me hit you with the headline. That's nothing but the recognition of that's nothing but the recognition of the um of the spirit of Christ first and first and foremost. Then number two, let me hit you with the headline um you do realize that look see this thing about it like you do realize we know who you are right you do realize who you know look like cat williams said if you if you a demon and let me hit y'all with the headline we gotta stop um exposing celebrities and stuff like that like man and i'm gonna keep on saying this we be exposing all these celebrities and all this stuff but in reality y'all parents doing the same shit this is what goes on in society why are we always talking about what the successful people doing because i'm gonna be honest let's you know what a lot of people y'all not successful so that'll make y'all feel good by peering and prying into the s rank life yes they will they yes they will at the end of the day they they demons but they still human beings they still have to work for that they still grinding for the lifestyle that they wanted to live regardless don't bring no sexual preference into this because guess what i know i know a dude right now that's gonna do some um but um for some money that's what happens in society i know women right now you get for free and and, and you got that new position but that, that pay that one number little 50 cent pay raise because the dude that you slept with guess what he wasn't he wasn't even in control with it he he he, he wasn't even in control of upping your pay he just he just told you you was gonna get this um you got the position but you you didn't get your pay raise because he won over there he ain't even a store manager y'all up out here sleeping with these managers y'all ain't even sleeping with the supervisors y'all sleeping with the managers man for these little positions uh, this this the supervisor, man. You ain't heard. Don't go. Don't do the manager. Get the supervisor, man. It's some it's some women right there. It's some women out there right now that's doing the same stuff. But see, ain't no they're doing the same the stuff the same stuff that um y'all claim celebrities be doing. But see, the stuff this y'all gotta sit the y'all dehumanize celebrities because that that give a lot of people ego boost. But they just regular human beings with a whole lot of money. Y'all gotta change y'all perception. Yeah, because a lot of celebrities be crying out for help early on. But see, no one, guess what? Guess what? It ain't, guess what? The world gonna look past that because guess what? Job, they in front of the they in front of the world, but at the end of the day, let me tell you something. Job, okay, this is how people mindset is. We well, you know what? They more successful than me. So you know what? I'ma just peer and prior to their life because now I'ma look and peer and prior to their life. Don't be doing that. You need to be trying to get like them. You need to be trying to get your money up just like them. You need to be trying to learn from them. Don't be um get what I'm saying. We talk about them, but the same stuff goes on in society. Yeah. People up there talking about some, um, yeah, we be like, man, my um celebrity sold, they sold, your mama sold her soul, your daddy sold his soul, everybody in your family that sold, they sold, they broke, they ain't got no money. And if they not, yes, they, they ain't got no money, man. They ain't got no money because guess what? The deal was one-sided. Satan got they sold, but see, at the end of the day, they don't have no talent or no they don't have no talent behind them. They ain't artists, they not visionaries, so like they not gonna make millions of dollars by default. They not in the NBA. They ain't in the NFL. They ain't probably in college or something. But at the end of the day, that's limited. Anybody can make money. That don't mean you. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, y'all gotta separate the artist from the human being. Period. Point blank. Y yeah, y'all gotta separate. Yeah, uh, but some of them demons, some of them not. But see, if, if people possess real discernment, and on top of that, it's, it's more than discernment. It's called understanding. Like, you have to understand that individuals are human beings, and you can't dehumanize them. If you look at a celebrity, and, and if you looking at only looking at celebrities that sold they sold, but you might, but you can't see the individuals that have sold they souls in society, oh, you know better than them. You, 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 you a fish around a bunch of sharks. Yeah, because guess what? Satan can still infiltrate you. You worry about the wrong thing, man. You got to worry about the people around you that's fake. 
Yeah, don't worry about no people that's getting money, man. That's what I'm saying. Them people still rich. Them people still getting money. We ain't got time to be sitting up there peeing and prying and care about what some celebrities doing. We already know they ain't who they say they are, but at the end of the day, the people in society ain't who they say they are neither. Mm -hmm. So, like, but we, 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 I ain't finna point the finger and be, but look, I learned, look, my, um, the first demon I ever ran across was my mama. So, at, and so I know the game was rigged from, I know the game was rigged. Y'all be like, um, uh, guess what? People be talking about P. Diddy and um, uh, P. Diddy, but guess what? Um, you want to know my mama? I'm like, my mama going to the same place P. Diddy going. They all going to the same place. That guy going to destroy all of them, like real talk. You see how easy that is? I'm like, uh-huh. But, the, yep. That's what I'm saying. And, and guess what? And, and, and for, what, what, for what she put me through, she need to be in jail. That's the thing about it. Yes, you do. You need to be in jail. But, see, you not a mogul. You, you are nobody, period. But no one knows you. I'm just using that as, as an example. I'm just using it as an example. I'm just using it as an example. See, we be we see it firsthand due to us being children of God. We see the evil firsthand. That's what y'all gotta understand. We be seeing it up close and personal firsthand. Like we gotta deal with this on a daily basis. Like we gotta deal with um peer pressure. We gotta deal with temptation. We gotta deal with um 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 we gotta deal with this on a daily basis for the simple fact that guess what? The um the devil stays like and prowling, period, point blank. If he, yeah, he eventually flee. Yeah, if you, if you, if you strong enough, yeah, if you strong enough and if you powerful enough. But see, it's little minions though. See, you got your little minions with you. You got them little minions that be that be be mad because they they be so intimidated because look, money, money, it it isn't nothing. See, one thing about us children of God, we 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 walk in the blood of Christ. We can't be bought, we can't be persuaded. Our greatest gifts is within. We don't we don't even go outside ourselves. Um, we don't even seek outside validation because guess what? God first with us. And and not, man, look, that's the Role. All the answers is within, so I don't know why, why, why we going outside ourselves when we should be going within. All the answers is within. Yeah, but yeah, we not perfect. Let me hit you with the headline. We not perfect. Neither people not gonna like that. But see, we like I say, it's when you, it's once you realize you ain't perfect. But see, you don't let being perfect define you. You walk, you walk, and you you a you walk and being imperfect. And see, when you walk in being imperfect, when you just say, you know what, I'm not perfect, but see, no one's perfect. But guess what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make no mistakes. That's gonna, I'm not gonna make no mistakes that's gonna cause any more flaws within my character anyway. Yeah, but but guess what? Even though we make mistakes, guess well, I make mistakes, but I don't make the mistakes you don't supposed to make. That's gonna hinder me as a man. That's gonna break me. That's gonna break my spirit. Yeah, I don't allow myself um to get. I don't like. I didn't. I'm me personally. It took me a long time to heal, and I'm finna be honest. It took me um. You know how, um. You know how much work it goes. You know how much um work goes into pouring into yourself, having to heal from childhood trauma, having to heal from abuse, having to heal. Yeah, that don't take no months to heal from. That takes years to heal from. But got, but on top of becoming the best version of yourself, going after your dreams and goals. And you self preservated you self disciplined you at the gym every single day you eating healthy you 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 educating yourself like it's more you you keep but you not letting up you not making no excuses you grinding that's what I'm saying like you you know how you do you not know how long it took me to get here so like at the end of the day I got to be like this I have to be guarded I got to be protected it got to be God first for me because at the end of the day the person that tried to break me was my own mother I will not allow that to that she didn't do it so I can she didn't do it because I defeated her so that mean I want I cannot allow anybody no demon will no demon or no witch you can't step off foot up over here because guess what that's not going to happen ever again we stand on business up over here and it, it, yeah, we stand on business, but we stand on business, and we and, and we fighting on a daily basis. That's what people be understand. We be steady, be fighting on a daily basis. We have to deal with criticism. We have to deal all for the simple fact that guess what? This is all for all, we we gotta um we look our existence just make these people just make bash their heads in. 
Yeah, our existence makes these people bash their head in because guess what? It's not about money with us. See, we ain't being ju we not being judged based off what we can do for people. We being judged. See, demons gonna judge you and gaslight based off the light inside you. But see, you gotta accept that's what they supposed to do. That's what they gonna do because their job is to they do work for the other side. So their job is to do exactly that. To deprive you of your life and your soul, that's that, that's gonna be their job. So, that, and if you don't know that, that's why when you go places, look, when you go places, that's why people be look. People gonna create false scenarios out of nowhere. People gonna look at you like you stole something. I know y'all be seeing it. That's why, look, when you go, look, let me hit you with the headline for all my steppers up out there. Y'all, y'all, look. <sighs> Look, the, in, these jobs y'all work at, people gonna try to cause confusion within them jobs. Guess, guess what? Look, they, look, you was already underestimated, but see, this is the thing about it. You keep growing, look, you keep growing and elevating within people's faces because you walk in truth. See, but at the end of the day, a lot of people, they live a lot. They not living under that Bible code. You not living, you not living under that God code. You not living like that. So guess what? When you meet an individual that's living like that, when a man that's not lying, when a man that actually know the word and living true, let me tell you something, that's intimidating because a lot of people, we are walking self-reflection. See, we make people self-reflect. We make demons. As soon as a demon see us, they know they're going to hell. Period, point blank. They know they're going to be destroyed. They know that's why they don't like us. That's why you they, when, look. That God be thinking people be staying now. Nah, people be staying because guess what? They, they we look. We got to learn how to change our perception because look, we the popular kids. We the, look. We already know where we going. So imagine somebody that don't have no soul. You not getting it back. You not getting it back because guess what? You wasn't supposed to give it up in the first place. And if you going to give it up, you better be a millionaire. You better be in Forbes. You got to be on Forbes. It's no way you niggas are selling your soul and you ain't getting no money for that. Man. You ain't getting no deals, no none of that. Like you crazy up out here, man. If you going to do that, get, you, get a deal, man. Don't get no 360 deal. That's what I'm saying. Don't get no 360 deal. Make sure you get, look, make sure you get something. Tell them, tell them that you want something. Tell them that you want something that's going to worth your while. But see, you're going to have to compromise for that. What you willing to do? What you willing to do for Satan for you to even get, for you to even get that deal? Because you know what you got to do. Yeah, man. People be talking about some celebrities. Man, y'all, y'all be doing the same stuff they be doing. I know a whole bunch of people that be doing it. They ain't got no money, no none of that. Mm -hmm. And be trying to give us a hard time. They, and be trying to give us a hard time. They, man, look. These people crazy up out here and I can't stand them. I can't stand humans. I promise you I can't stand them because they liars. And they don't be really living like that. They don't be living in truth. They don't. They ain't who they say they is. I'm, but I mean, what do you expect when the Bible says don't trust these motherfuckers, man? Don't be trusting these people. Then you got people, oh, yeah, let me hit you with the, hey, Rachel, if you watching this video, hey, let me tell you something, it's a man up out there, it's a man up out there that don't use cuss words, but guess what, he, he, but, but see, he the most evilest man on earth, so stop, don't be judging men based off cuss words, that's why y'all don't be having no man, because y'all be sitting up here in search of character flaws, that, like, that y'all don't, look, we not perfect, sweetheart, let me tell you something, ain't nobody on planet earth perfect, you can't be going in search of perfection, sweetheart, you ain't gonna never find no man. That's why some of y'all like dudes that the two that you ain't gonna never find nobody because y'all be going in search of perfection. God already see what's in y'all heart, that little hidden agenda. I want the perfect person. Not God. I want somebody that's not God I already know for a fact that a lot of people, you ain't you ain't finna ever get nobody because you you your agenda is not clear and it's off. You got a hidden agenda. You, I want a lot of people. I want somebody. I want a um heavenly father. I want a man. But see, at the, at the end of the day, once God look in your heart, he gonna be like, you don't want no man. You just want you want to control this person. I'm not gonna send you that. I'm not gonna send you somebody. I'm gonna send you somebody. Look, I'm gonna send. Look, I'm. I, you, you still gonna. You gonna have to run into some demons until you learn, not until you lose that agenda. Like those be like, I want to marry a virtuous woman. God be like, that you saying you want to marry a woman, but that's not in your heart. That's not in your heart. You just lust in your heart. You you saying you want this woman, but I can see that if I was to see this woman, you gonna sexualize her on the first day. I'm not gonna send you her. I'm not gonna send you her. That's the thing about it. Like y'all gotta stop lying to God. And but you gotta understand, stop searching, stop going in search of perfection. No one's on this earth perfect. People be sitting up there to my some profanity. Let me take the head. We be hitting. Let me hit you with the headline. Like if a woman cuss, I don't care if you cuss. You know how many women I know that use profanity and they cheers in the guy. Yeah, they are. Yes, they are. 
J yes, they are. That's just where they come from. That's just who they are. They don't use it like that, but they 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 slip and say the s word. That don't make them. They don't make them no le less of a woman, and that don't make them unattractive. That that's what I'm saying. I like we, real men. We like when um women be they self. We don't look um Rachel. We don't like women like y'all because at the end of the day, y'all you would say you don't like no man. You 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 cussing really, and, and it's not the cussing that's getting to you. To be honest. It's the personality that you intimidated. Like you can't, you can't believe that somebody like me using profanity because you, in your mind, whatever you say, whatever version of me that you got in your head, that's what you telling yourself. But see, it's not that version. That's not the reality. But like the cussing is um something that you gonna try to use. But see, that don't stop nothing either. That don't stop nothing. Yeah, I just wanted to say that to Rachel if she was watching this video. But like Rachel, you my you my sister. Ain't nothing wrong. Look, let me tell you something. Ain't nothing wrong. Like you know I love you, baby. Ain't nothing. We ain't got. It's no bad blood between us. You know I love you, sweetheart. Mm hmm. You know I be. You know I be having to get up on there and um say um I be having to do that sometimes. But like it's nothing. Look, it's nothing wrong with a little constructive criticism. You yeah, you gave me some, so like I had to give you some. Mm. I hope you apply it. But yeah, I hope you apply it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry about that, man. I'm sorry about that. But at the end of the day, you can't be doing that, man. Because at the end of the day, you gonna look. Once you get that, look. If you what a pe once you around individual. Let me tell you something. The individuals that I that don't use profanity is the worst individuals you gonna ever come across a day in your life. That what I'm saying. Like what, did the, man? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I say, but like I say, I be yeah, people be trying to go in search of flaws because they can't handle your personality. But see, it's not. It's but see, when you just that nigga, like I'm just that nigga. Like I don't you look when you pfft, when you look like this, we can do this all day, man. You know, you know what the halo effect is, Rachel. You know what the halo effect is. You know what it is, man. It's the halo effect when you live. Look, I can do it, but because I I was I'm not faking. I don't live a lot. See, you see me not living a lot. That's intimidating, huh? Yeah, that's intimidating. Because guess what? I didn't. I don't allow you to manipulate me into changing who I am as an individual, which a lot of people gonna try to do. See, that's why I'm getting it at this video. Let me tell y'all something. We don't be doing none of people. We 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 don't. I knew it was bad once I was silent. And people started messing with me out the blue. It's like we can't even be silent. It's somebody, somebody gonna try to provoke a reaction out of us because they want that energy from us. But see, what you gotta understand, like I say, we didn't already been through it, so get, we know how to deal with it. I'm like Jesus Christ. I'm gonna turn the other cheek. But first of all, I'm in control of my emotions. Also, in brothers and sisters, y'all got to learn how to be in control of our emotions. It, the moment you become in control of your emotions, you win the game. You win the world. You you win. Nobody can emotionally emotionally manipulate you, period, point blank. You got to take, not only do you have to take care of the spirit, you got to take care of your mind and body, remember? All these things align with each other and they go in place. You got to take care of all three. Yes, you do. Don't get caught lacking up out here. Don't be just taking care of one. Taking care, take care of your spiritual health, your mind, and your body. That's you're gonna become a dangerous individual, both male or female. You're gonna become dangerous because your work gonna be centered around you and not around other people. People do not like that. Yeah, because they can't get what they want from us. And I noticed something. Once people can't get, look, once people can't get, once people can't, once they know they can't benefit off us because we got them boundaries put up, let me hit you with the headline. They going to rage. They going to turn into some children, some crybabies. These people at the workplace, why you be thinking these people be giving you confusion? Why you think people be judging you like people be um making like little side jokes? Because guess what? It's not that you doing nothing to them. It's not that the stuff they saying are joking about it. True. No, they trying to give you a hard time because guess what? That's what they got to do because you are intimidating to them. Like they got, look, demons got to they got to get an ego boost off, off light, period, point blank, because they, they pose as um, children of the light. They pose as angels of the light. So at the end of the day, they got to benefit because that's the, that's, the whole, that's, the, that's the whole gimmick of their image. They got to. Because guess what? By them, by, look, but see, we, you can't be giving these individuals reaction. And you see this thing about it. We damn that we do. We damn that we don't. Just by not giving them a reaction, that makes them worse. Because guess what? We not giving no energy to these individuals. But see, demons are entitled. 
if we don't give the enemy, I'm going to take the, I'm, I'm the energy. I'm going to take his energy. I'm going to make you give me the energy. See, this is what people at y'all job do. This is what people in, in the world do for the simple fact. This thing, people, and I ain't really people like, I'm a child of God. I'm like, no, you're not. You don't be knowing what be going on with us on a daily basis. You know, we've been... <laughs> You don't know what be going on on us. We, we can't even be quiet in the room. We can't even be ourselves. We can't even go shopping. We can't even go. We, it's going to be, it, it's an everyday thing. We just got to stay up in that. We have to stay up in the house isolated. And we would rather stay in the house isolated because the world is messed up anyway. Period, point blank. And it's evil about you. But see, we, we, we children of God, we can't go nowhere because it's, because guess what? They every motherfucking way. This is like our robot, man. That's what I'm saying. Y'all ever seen our robot? This I robot. For real, this I robot, man. On hood. This I robot, man. They some robots and they faking like they good, but see they really bad because they got their own um hidden agenda, just like our robots. They some robots, man. That's what I'm saying. And we the human beings. See, they mad because we human, but they robots because y'all don't have no soul. So, like, you can never operate based off the spirit. You can never operate. You can operate, operate based off the spirit, but you can't operate based off the soul because you don't have that. But, I mean, but see, it, 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 everybody operates based off spirit. I do. So, but see, I just have a clean spirit. I have a positive spirit. You, y'all, y'all, you, y'all ain't got that. That's what I'm saying. Let me tell you something. If they did, they wouldn't try to benefit off us. Yes, they did. Look, if the, a lot of people, if y'all was really, if these people was really who they say they is, let me tell you something. When we enter the room, they wouldn't pay us no mind. You would probably speak, but guess what? You wouldn't be staring. Like, you know how many people I catch staring at me on a daily basis? I catch staring at me on a daily basis. And then when I look at them, they hurry up and look away. And let me hit you with a headline. If you a dude, if you a dude, because it's mainly more dudes. If you a dude... And, and you staring at another man, like, cause I catch a lot of dudes staring at me, like, bro. If I, if you a man, and if I'm, and if you staring at me, bro, let me hit you with the headline. That's gay, bro. Like, I'm not with that. I'm that's gay. Point blank. I ain't never in my life like men be staring at other men. I'm old school. That's gay. We don't look at no other men unless I'm looking them in the eye and we having a real conversation. We not no. I'm not looking these dudes some fanboys. They some little girls. When I tell y'all, like it be more dudes staring than guys be staring. Dude, these dudes be on that faggot ass, man. And, and, and that's something wrong with them. That is gay, period, point blank. That's gay, man, like on, on some real stuff. And no disrespect to, look, if you a LGBT community member, let me tell y'all something. You, it's some dudes that's in, that's in y'all community, LGBT. They need to come out. I don't understand why they be hiding when you, when y'all got a whole community up out there. And shout out to the LGBT community. And there's no hate, no none there. But see, the LGBT community, don't y'all hate when people be faking like they not like that, but they really like that. They putting on a facade. They living a lie. Yeah, don't y'all hate that? That's what I'm on hood. I hate it all the time because I know a lot of niggas be down low. And a lot of that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You gotta go and come out the closet because don't 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 get it. Don't get this woman. Don't be don't be don't get this woman involved. Cause I know you like that, cause you staring at another man. That's gay. Period. Point blank. I know. Understand you are Jezebel. I understand that a lot of men they possess Jezebel. That's the spirit. Yeah, you ain't healed from that childhood trauma. Then on top of that, you not you not you wasn't taught how to be a man by your father. But see, that's no excuse. You didn't teach yourself how to be a man. Then God right then and there. So you can't fake nothing up over here. Like, you can't fake it, period, point blank. Like, if I ain't never in my life staring at another man, like, if I see men, I don't even look at men. That's gay to me. Like, it's called cold. Like, it's called cold, bro. Like, if you, from all my brothers, for all my brothers, if it's dudes be staring at y'all, like, on, like they be having interest in y'all. It's not, but see, this thing about it, they do have interest because guess what? Demons have no moral compass. Y'all might as well go ahead. You might as well go ahead and tell me, hey, man, you look good, man. So I can go ahead and um go ahead and tell the police um so I can go and call the police on myself because I know I'm finna do life. Yeah, I'm finna go and do life. Nah, I'm not I'm finna go and do life right now. I'm finna go and lay down right now. Yeah, I'm finna go and lay down right everything I was talking just for nothing. All over this, yeah, we finna go and lay down right now because you don't you don't respect boundaries. For staring. That's what I'm saying, for staring. I just wanted to put that up out there. For my sisters, it be some females standing. I ain't gonna speak on no females. I ain't gonna speak on no female, cause I already know females. A lot of females secretly with that. So like, we ain't we we wouldn't even get into none of that nonsense. But like, if you a woman up out there, if you my sisters, yeah, they they be staring at child, man. 
And that's a form of trying to make, that's a form of them being intimidated, but that's also a form of them trying to make you uncomfortable. Like, don't let nobody, don't let people that's beneath you get under your skin, period, point blank. Don't let demons, and don't let these people in the workplace, don't let these people around you, don't let your family members um, trick you out of your position. You got to stand assertive and stand firm on, on that word of God. Then you go on top of that, you have to have some type, you got to have self-worth and value. I'm trying to tell you, you got to take care of your mind, body, spirit, and soul. Like, it's certain things that you have to do for yourself in order for you that's gonna protect you on this earth period point blank and that's kind and, and that's the inner work you can't you nothing you going outside i said that's not gonna mm -mm. that don't get us nowhere but um in um but in misery land mm -hmm. they don't be getting us nowhere like i say we already can't do nothing because guess what everywhere we go guess what it's look let me tell you something something somebody gonna start something Somebody gonna start. It's it, Robert. They be like, why? Do, I wonder why they do that. Because guess what? It's your inner strength. Like when no people, people look. You can be broke. I say this in a lot of pe videos. You can have twenty dollars to your name, and guess what? Somebody with like fifteen thousand dollars in a bank account. Somebody with like thirty thousand dollars in a bank account. Guess what? Once they see you, let me hit you with the headline. Once they see you, and you got. They going to hate your guts, but they going to, okay, I ain't got no money in the bank account, but I come that person, this person is wealthy, this person, with, why they hang on me? Because guess what? You might not have that um, 20000 or 30000 in the bank account, but guess what? Guess what? You got that spirit. Look, God can bounce you back anytime you want to. Let me hit you with the headline. The people, the demon that's intimidated by you, that got more money than you, because people going to try to use, demons going to use money everywhere you go in the workplace. They cannot take us down. We do not lose. We are winning. The spiritual battle, you got to say something. I'm winning the physical battle, so you fucked over here. You ain't got more money than me. I refuse to allow motherfuckers to have, make have, say I got more money than you. It's, it's, that's not my mo. Period. Point blank. I ain't finna have nobody going around. Got that. We, we winning on earth, so like you just over here, you fucked all aspects. Yeah, you can't even be like if you like you can't be like look you can't even be like man I don't want him I don't want him. I don't want him. I don't even like him. I'm like, hey, hey, look, he he look, he can already we yeah. Yeah, so like that's just what it is. But like some people, I'm just a bona fide certified winner at all costs. Like I refuse to lose. Like I like I say, I refuse to lose. I can't do that. Like I refuse. Then on top of that, I I I, I gotta have everything for myself. I refuse to for individuals to try to have do something over my head and be like, okay, you know what? I help him get to where he need uh, uh let me tell you something. The only person helped me get to where I needed to go was God. And ain't nobody taking credit for it. Period point blank. If you wasn't there when I was down, there's no way you um finna benefit off me when I'm up because guess what? I'm stubborn and I'm selfish and I'm against you not coming up over here that's just what it is that's what people be having that's that's what people got to understand like you got to understand mo mostly all the people we come across they gonna try to benefit but see if it's not something that they can benefit off of and it's normally because we let me tell you something we don't allow y'all to benefit because y'all not deserving of us let me hit y'all with the headline they not gonna like that because they feel entitled to the power that we possess the power that god has given us and guess what they gonna do they gonna cause confusion mm -hmm, they gonna hate that this everywhere y'all go. See, y'all got to understand something. We putting you, giving you the blueprint. I'm telling you who, like, who, what, when, where, and why. The period point, period point blank. Now, we going to hit you with the reality. We going to hit you. We going to hit you as soon as you tell people no. Guess what? You finna see them switch immediately. They can be like, why you, that, let me tell you something. They was never on your side to begin with. Guess what? They was just using you for the time being until that one day that you said no. We don't even have to do nothing. Tell me why these people in the workplace be trying to cause confusion in the workplace and we don't even be doing none of them. Huh. We do be doing something to them. We be killing these people with success. We be killing these people with health and wellness. We be killing these people at the end of the day. Let me tell you something. Children of God, God got us. But see, at the end of the day, they don't, they ain't spiritually protected and back. Let me tell you something. If they lose all their stuff, it ain't coming back. The deal was one-sided with the devil and they know that. See, guess what? Look, but see, see, look, we restore. God can restore us in a way. Hey, that person that had $20 in their bank account, guess what? Let me tell you something. The devil will snatch that other dude person that was trying to snatch his money. And, that, and guess what? God going to give you, God to put a million in your bank account. Because guess what? If people actually knew how God worked, they would understand that he do indeed take care of his children. 
and it's also in the Bible how he made his children, some of his children, kings on this earth. See, people don't be reading the Bible. I don't, I don't know what Bible y'all be reading. I be thinking y'all probably read the y'all probably read the Bible by Dr. Seuss. Yeah, y'all probably read the Bible by Dr. Seuss. Y'all probably read yeah, cause I don't I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand what y'all be reading. I, I I know what I be reading. I'll I be like, man, I promise you what these people be reading, man. Man, first of all, can I even read? Yeah, can I even read? But we wouldn't even get into none of that nonsense. Because we wouldn't even get into none of that nonsense. Because at the end of the day, reading the Bible is not going to give you discernment. That's just educating yourself on a word. Uh, um, real discernment, you're going to have to do the spiritual work, and you're going to have to um, and you and you have to be a special type of individual. So don't be sitting up that thing just because you open that. You educating yourself, and you know where well, they ain't spiritual discernment. Trust me, you're going to know when it's spiritual discernment because guess what? You're going to be able to feel energies. You're going to be able to feel energies and feel different. You're going to be able to feel them once they enter the room. And you're going to be able to see, you're going to be able to see amongst the supernatural also. So that's, we wouldn't even get into none of that nonsense. We wouldn't even get into none of that because that's not even that type of video. And that's on some straight gangster. Mm -hmm, hopefully, yeah, man. We don't be doing nothing to these people. You hear me? Let me tell you something. We don't be doing nothing. We we don't we be up in our own lane. We be in our own lane. We can't be in our own lane though, because guess what? Everywhere we go, guess what? It's, it's somebody gonna want to benefit off this power. But see, we don't uh, look. We did. We used to people benefit off trying to do it. But see, what they not used to, what they don't understand is that we used to take an individual down. See, we used to defeat them due to us actually experiencing it over and over again. Due to us being experienced and being used, being taken advantage of, individual trying to steal our life. We wondering what's going on for them. We not doing nothing to nobody. But what's going on? See, once you realize you're not doing nothing to anybody, and people are trying to cause confusion with them your life you're going to start to self-reflect it's something about what is it within me it got to be, it's nothing on the outside surface there's nothing on the i know it's nothing on the outside surface because guess what i didn't acquire everything on the outside surface these motherfuckers are still hating so i know it's not about no money or materialism it's something about me that's on the inside that irks your spirit it's my spirit Mhm. Mm that's everywhere we go. That's everywhere we go. Like uh, that. That's a lot of people that we work with. They hate us. Like they hate that y'all even work with them. They can't stand y'all. Y'all family members that's not in tune with God. That don't have no connection with God. Let me tell you something. They got. They got to make. They got to um um manipulate the narrative and cause confusion and get up egos to make up for that lack of discrepancy. And a lot of people, this ain't got nothing to do with God. You just ain't got, you ain't a good person and you ain't got no personality. You ain't got no swag. So like a lot of people, you just ain't got no swag. You, 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 you don't have no juice. And you, you and if you ain't got no juice, man, that's just, that, that's just what it is, man. You ain't got the juice. Yeah, you ain't got the juice. I ain't used to have the juice, but guess what, Robert? Somebody came up to me and told me, they was like, Robert, you got the juice now. I was like, I mean that, man. I, I, I drunk that juice heavy, man. He gave me that juice, and I've I been juiced up ever since, man. I've been juiced up. I'm juiced up right now, man. I'm on hood. I'm juiced up. You know, I stay juiced up out here, man. Like, people be trying to make it seem like, like, people be trying to judge us. And let me hit y'all with the headline. I don't care. Let, let me, see, we, see, you see how cool we be. We, yeah, we the most coolest. We the most humblest. We the most, uh, flyest. We the most gorgeous. We the most beautifulest. Uh, we the most understanding, the most loving, the most caring, the most charismatic individuals you gonna meet in your most peaceful individuals you gonna meet in your life. Let me, it's for that exact same reason people don't possess these characteristic qualities and traits, man. You can't steal them. You can't plagiarize them. Once you realize you can't steal someone else's lifestyle, or their, their personality, because the, the universe not going to align you with that reality, you screw. You going to hate yourself. Because guess what? You tried to steal, but at the end of the day, you didn't. it didn't work. But guess what? You can't. Let me hit you with the airline. You can't. Guess who you're going to take it out on? You're going to take it out on a person that you're trying to steal from because you ain't got the guts to look in a mirror and self reflect because you know you living a lie. I can't stand people. I can't stand people. Like, people be trying to make it seem, people be trying to um judge, um people be trying to judge us and, but for the simple fact. And let me tell you something, people be trying to judge us for the simple fact that guess what? They the bad, look, you the bad person. Yeah, I might have made a mistake, but guess what? I'm not a fucked up person. You the fucked up person. Like, everybody been through something. Everybody go through something. But guess what? We not perfect. Y'all motherfuckers be trying to make it seem like y'all perfect. Perfection does not exist. 
Jesus Christ wasn't perfect. Who was perfect? Name one person that's perfect. The only people that I be trying to know is they be acting like they perfect at these fake people about you. And they so fake. Y'all live an illusion, man, and we living in reality. But at the end of the day, look, but let me tell you something. Y'all want to make us suffer, and, and, and y'all move in numbers. But y'all want to make us suffer, and y'all move in numbers. Because guess what? We we stand. We we the strongest ind individual solo. We stand firm solo. That's what I'm saying. Like y'all gotta understand something. It's bad enough our family members was hating on us. It's bad enough our parents was hating and trying to destroy us. But guess what? We still gotta deal with these randoms, these individuals, these coworkers, these people. And at the end of the day, we ain't sweating. But at the end of the day, like I say, if you a real child of God, you don't catch a break. That's why we need to go on vacation. We need to all put some money together and go to vacation. We need to uh, we need to we need to rent we need to book the Bahamas. Yeah, we deserve a vacation. Like heavenly, we need to put that up out there. All my chosen brothers and sisters, we deserve a vacation. We deserve one month of not fighting and battling demons. Cause man, we keep battling. We do, cause we deserving of it. We tired. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. These motherfuckers be trying to play with our money and come between our money. We can't allow these people to come between our money. They be trying to come between our relationships. They be trying to end our life. We can't do that. Yeah, we want a real person. Yeah, I want a real woman. But guess what? I'm scared because guess what? I, because guess what? I don't trust this person. This could be a good woman, but, but, but see this thing about it, individuals have shown, look, I didn't gave you, I didn't shown you, I didn't gave you the real in the past, and guess what? You forsake me every single time, so guess what? Even if I was to meet a real woman, I would probably miss out because guess what? Of that stubbornness, I don't trust no bitch, man. And my sisters might miss out on a good man because I'm not finna get involved with no, I don't care. I want one, but... I'm not trying to be hurt. I cannot allow a man to hurt me again. I'm not finna allow myself to be hurt. See, I, I, and see, you people gotta understand that we have we have already been hurt by many family, everything. But see, at the end of the day, it's still individuals that's trying to hurt us. God got us, but see, we we gonna come out on top. But yeah, like this not no game. Like people, like, I'm anointed. No, you're not, cause you're not battling. You're not fighting. We fighting. We sacrificing for this shit, man. Real talk, like we didn't lit like we sacrificed for this man, like Jesus Christ, um, literally sacrificed for us. And see, and for the, and see, we battling, and we we doing the same thing. We battling, and guess what? We sacrificing. Mm -hmm. Boy, I'm telling who that reminds Jesus Christ, boy. Y'all know what it is with me, man. Y'all know what it is with me. Look, may peace and blessings be upon here. I really just got up. I, I, I really I ain't say nothing too much. You hear me? I ain't say nothing too much. I really just got up on here because I miss y'all. And I want y'all to see my face. I ain't really. I just, you know, y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all, baby. Let me get y'all in there. Like, y'all know I love y'all. Yeah, I'll be let me post some. Let me get up on here so they can see my face, so they can know. Y'all know every time y'all see me, I'm going to be looking better and better. And I'm going to be even sexier, right? Mm -hmm. God still be working on me and I'm still elevating. Look, stay blessed.